Good morning. Today is March 21st, Monday. First full day of spring, and here in the Northeast, I'm looking at snow on the ground. How nice. Anyway, I want to take a look at biotechs today. No secret has been underperforming the market. This is the NASDAQ Biotech Index up here. You can see it peaked last summer, and unlike the broad market, as it has kept going down instead of recovering uh, from its early um, January and February bottoms. Here's the bottom chart, price relative, you can see beating the market up until last summer and that's the end of that that's all she wrote there I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I will explain what that funny indicator in the middle is in a minute but you see here the market bottomed in February and took off and came all the way back to positive for the year while the IBB is really flirting with with uh, its old lows 52 week lows okay so let's explain up here we have the 200 day average in green we have the 50-day average in red. Clearly, the uh, index is below both averages, the 50 below the 200, so things are not looking very technically well for this sector right now. So let's get to this indicator on the bottom. And this is strange, and you can make a lot of fun of the name, but um, I've actually discussed this one on a previous video just briefly. It's just another indicator to use, and this is called the Arun Index, or Arun Indicator. Um, not going to go into the history of the indicator, but what it's showing, it's showing this, the item's position relative to its 25-day high or 25-day low. Um, I use a 25-day. I think that's what convention is. Um, so what we have here are two lines. The green, of course, would be the bullish line. The red, the bearish. So it doesn't look too bad. You have the, the bullish line is higher than the red the uh, bearish line so that's pretty good except for the fact that it's starting to fall back here so this indicator is telling us that relative to itself the indicator is losing steam and of course you could just see that by by seeing this the index at 52 week lows or near let's go into some of the big names within the index this is gilead okay we can see in the indicator let's get rid of some of these lines you can see on the indicator that the green is shot straight high so that's pretty good um, it's bounced off its low. It hasn't come back down to test it. So in terms of which stock within the indexes or, or the sector is decent, you've got Gilead, which is probably one of the better ones. doesn't mean it's good, but, you know, throw some lines in the chart, see where it takes us. So it's still clearly in decline, but at least it's making a run of it. It's above the 50-day average. So that's one. Let's look at Regeneron. A little different story here. Here we have the, the red Arun line shooting up to uh, the high levels while the green turned lower. So this one clearly hurting. And if you're going to take a look at the two stocks together, you'd want to perhaps look at, at Gilead from the long side and Regeneron from the short side. If you want to do a pair, that's fine. So just another way to look at these things. Okay, just pick a few more. I have no rhyme or reason here, just picking names. And uh, we'll actually use the channel that's already on my chart. You can see another thing here, another stock where this Arun indicator is showing that the stock weakening or maybe even starting a new downtrend. And that's what it means here. Uh, the indicator, when, when it shoots up to this high level and the green pulls back, it does suggest the start of a new bearish trend. And that would mean, if you draw the line here, that you had um, a bearish flag type of pattern here, which broke down. So again, just a way to look at these things. But overall, I would say that biotech is not the is certainly not the greatest sector. And within biotech, you got stocks that are much worse than others. So just another, just giving you another indicator to use in your arsenal. I certainly wouldn't use this alone, especially since I'm not as fluent in it as I might be with other indicators. So there you have it, and good luck.